Jessica here from Cocoon Apothecary to talk about Reflector, our SPF 30 sun protection for your face. Um, we make it for the face, but you can use it up for the body, it works just as well. Um, the reason why we made it for the face is because we do focus on the face as a company and this product is really good for the face because it's um, got so much protection um, and it's also nourishing, it has sea buckthorn berry and rice bran oil and some really um, amazing performers for the skin so um, it's more of a facial product just because it's a little more luxury but you can put it on your whole body if, feel free to do that um, so I'm going to first put it on and we're going to go over the actual product um, so it's a pump and it's in a glass bottle which is rare for a sunscreen I'm going to go into that a little bit more after so you, I do like a couple pumps and See, it goes on, it's a zinc titanium formula. So it's gonna go on a little white. So, which is exactly what happens when you use a whitening product, like it's, or a, a zinc physical sunscreen product. It is going to have a whitening effect at first. Um, and that's because it is, like I said, physical, it's a mineral sunscreen, which means that it, deflects light. It's got these little tiny particles that deflect light off like an actual um, tiny little mirrors. So the sun comes, the UV rays come on or come to the face and it deflects it off. And that's why I even call it reflector. And this is very different than a chemical sunscreen. And I've put a lot on by the way. This is really different than a chemical sunscreen because some chemical sunscreens work to turn UV rays into a different form of energy, which is usually heat. So it takes UV rays and turns it into heat. And that's why people that with sensitive skin have a really hard time using it because it burns it. Um, and then other people react to so their skin reacts by um, breaking out. And some people, if you've ever gotten in your eyes while you're swimming, the chemical sunscreen, it burns so badly which tells me a lot about the properties. This will not burn you at all. It's, it's a mineral, right? It, um, it is a very gentle mineral. Um, and it protects on such an intense level, way more than chemical sunscreens. Like I think that these physical sunscreens have way more efficacy. Um, I've traveled down to tropical Caribbean islands with um, chemical and physical, and chemical like a burn every time. Um, and physical, no. I mean, I, I came back from Jamaica as, as pale as I left. Um, I just dropped one and it didn't break. Um, so, um, yeah, so I, I mean, it just, it, it's such a, an intense full spectrum protection. Um, UVB and UVA rays and it's the only way to go. I also feel like when I'm gardening, I'm out in the heat, I've got the sun beating on me that it's almost cooling. Like it almost feels like it protects it so much you don't even feel the heat of the sun on your face. So as you can see, I'm still pale, but it's going to absorb. It's not going to be like this the whole day. Um, it's just that initial uh, time that it, it gets like this. So um, yeah, so that's that's the whitening part. Um, also, I wanted to say too, you might have seen the news recently that uh, some chemical sunscreens in Hawaii have been banned, um, and those are oxybenzone and ox, uh, oxytocinate, and those two are um, hurting the reef, so they bleach the reef. Um, and it's also hurting fish, um, and it's actually, from tourists and their sunscreen or people that are in the water and their sunscreen. This has been going on for a long time and there's been awareness about it, but um, it doesn't seem to be translating into the industry changing their ways. It's more like the legislation has to be put in place or people have to actually choose not to use those sunscreens. Um, I've been to an eco, um, like a little cove in Mexico where we weren't allowed to bring in our own sunscreens and all we had to use their zinc based one because of the same thing you will destroy this the, the, the life in the water the reef in the water so 
I mean, these sunscreens are not eco-friendly, these chemical ones, and a lot of companies use them. So look for those ingredients, oxybenzone especially. And, and oxybenzone is actually a, um, an endocrine disruptor in humans. So you do absorb that ingredient. It goes into your system and you've got some hormone disruptors in your body. So it's polluting our bodies as well as our water systems. Okay, so um, absorbing... I don't know. It just, it absorbs like, as far as being greasy, it's not greasy at all. There's no grease to it. It's, um, the texture is like a cream, but it's a little bit tacky, but not greasy. You're not going to have an oily face. You're not going to break out. Um, but it does feel like there is something on my face, but that's the point of having a sunscreen is you want to have a nice protective barrier but not suffocate your face or feel greasy or heavy or anything like that. That's not what this does. It's just intense protection, but still a light feel, but you can feel it. I mean, that there's that, there's shea butter in here. There's, there's things that are going to sit on the skin, but not in a, um, thick way. It's a really, that's my favorite part of the sunscreen is how, how nice the texture feels on your face. And you can actually use this um, on its own as a moisturizer because it's really it's really good really thick like really rich protection but not thick like greasy thick um, and if you want to make sure it um, goes on a little lighter you can put the uh, like our one of our creams on first and then put this on on top of it but for the full power you want to just have it on its own um, and not um, cut it with with cream right and yeah, and so the packaging, um, okay, I have to say like the packaging is not um, the most user friendly, I guess, for a formula this thick, but it's in glass and that's important to us and it's important to our customers. So this is the only way we could really do this without a plastic bottle, it's a pump. And um, I do find sometimes the pump gets stuck and I have to go like this but then it, it's back. I mean, it's just like the cream has to go under the, um, the thing, the pipe. So, um, you know, you do have to work around a little bit to have this eco-friendly packaging rather than having yet another plastic bottle to fill our landfill and oceans with. Um, and also, you know, we do do the, for people that are local, we do do the bottle return. So we use it again. Um, but I mean, if we can come up with something better, that's not plastic, we will do it. Uh, but for now we're going to stick with glass, um, cause that's who we are. So, uh, if you have any questions or comments about this, or even if you want to talk about the packaging in the comments, cause I'm really, uh, curious to see what people think about that. Um, please do. Thank you.